Hello world! Today is another Ipsy and Birch Box unboxing. Hey everybody, Shelly here and today I'm going to unbox the August Ipsy and Birch Box subscriptions. I'm on the fence right now. I'm thinking of dropping one of these two in favor of picking up the Medusa's Makeup subscription, which has recently caught my eye because they are shipping vegan makeup. And it's a $15 a month subscription where you get three to five of their products, but oh, this might be the last month for one of these. I'm not sure, I'm not sure yet. But first, I have to get something very serious off my chest. I am wearing the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Long Wear Lipstick. And this is in a gorgeous color called Child Star. I love the color. I've been trying to love this stuff. I hate it. This is, this is, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love Too Faced. I love the color. Let me zoom you in so you can look at my lips, okay? Okay, this is creepy, but look at my lips. Do you see the lines? This stuff accentuates lines on my lips that I swear I don't even have. And that's not even to begin talking about what happens on days when I've got any tiniest bit of dryness or chapped lips going on. The other thing I cannot stand, it ends up puckering in the center like you get a butthole lip and it's just gross and it looks awful and it clumps up and if you don't put lip liner underneath it it doesn't wear well at all it never fully dries down if you put lip liner underneath it it works a little bit better but I'm so sad because I want to love this so much the color I love the color <sighs> okay I'm done I'm just done Ipsy time! Let's look at the Ipsy bag. Now, of course, their cards don't tell you what you're getting in the bag, so I find that to be useless, but let's see. The theme for August is Sugar Highness. Pop the champagne cans, deck yourself in ring pops, get gloriously glammed up, and dip into everyday decadence gone wildly galore. I feel like, what am I supposed to like, go to a rave? <laughs> okay, maybe not. The bag itself. All right, it's kind of cute. I don't go for the overly cutesy makeup-y looking things, but I like the colors and I like the sort of whimsical illustration quality of it. So I'm gonna say this one's okay. All right, let's dig in. The first item actually didn't fit in the bag, so it was outside the bag. And it's from the brand 111 Skin Harley Street, London. It's a biocellulose facial treatment mask. I like masks. Whoa. Holy light there, Batman. I like masks. I will like that. Let's dip into the bag, shall we? First thing I see looks like a little squeezy tube of some kind. What is it? <laughs> I was going to say Peter Llamas. I love llamas. I mean, how many other words do you know of that start with two L's besides like proper names? Lloyd, that doesn't count. Proper name. Llamas rule. Peter Lamas, Supreme Radiance Complexion Booster for All Skin Types. Smooths wrinkles, even skin tone, illuminates complexion, ultra sheer. Paraben free. I don't know what this, is this like glowy stuff? Let's see. Um, it's got a little seal on it. All right, let's find out. What are you? Whoa. Okay, it comes out, it looks like it's almost black. And on this pale pasty pirate, But then it fades away. Do you see it? I mean, they said it was sheer, but... 
I don't fully understand that product. Next up, it's a pencil that is called a Smoky Eye Pen. Ta-da! By the brand Radio. Okay, it's called a Smoky Eye Pen. It looks like it's a pencil. It looks like it's eyeliner. It looks like it's black. It looks like it's matte. It went on super smooth. It doesn't feel like draggy chalky at all. It's from London. All right, UK, you're rocking it. Okay, I like eyeliner. Eyeliner's good. Next, a Tarte Tartist lash paint. I don't think I have this particular mascara yet. I have so many mascara samples, I'm never going to have to even buy regular mascara ever again. Is this mascara? What's happening? It is. Okay, so it looks like it's very spiky wand mascara. I tend to need more bushy brushes and more volume. The spiky ones give me length, which is fine. I can use some length, but I don't need a ton of length. I need more volume than length, so I'll try it. I've kind of been coming to the recent conclusion that Tarte is not my favorite brand of all time. I like the things I have. I have two different palettes from them. I had bad luck with a bunch of the things from the Rainforest to the Sea line, which I really thought I was going to love, but Nothing I have of theirs really makes me go, yes, I love this. I love it. So maybe they're not my favorite brand. Oh, I think I have a Beauty Blender dupe in here. What is this? Okay. It's a black Beauty Blender type looking sponge from the brand Bugachis. B-E-A-U-G-A-C-H-I-S dot com. That's all it says. It's in a plastic bag and that's all it says. It looks like a beauty blender. It feels a little more firm than a beauty blender, but it's got the same kind of tip and the fat little butt. I like sponges. I need more sponges. If it's a good sponge, I'll be super happy. That's all that's in the bag. So that's it for Ipsy. I would say, okay, I'm going to like the eyeliner. The sponge I'm going to like. The mask is good. The other couple are probably not home runs. So I'd say that's a, it's a solid B for an Ipsy bag. Next up, it sounds like it's got a lot going on inside, is Birchbox. So this is the August Birchbox. I love Birchbox. I'll, I'll say it again. I've said this a million times. I love that the boxes are like sturdy and reusable and they're not makeup centric so you can use them for storage or for gifting or anything else. I like Birchbox. Their card is useful because it tells you exactly what's in the box, which I like. All right, so the theme for August for Birchbox, it's time to eke out every last bit of summer. I don't think I've ever seen the word eek in writing. E-K-E. E -E. Yeah, all right. For that, you'll need products that don't slow you down. Looks like there's some hair stuff in here. Okay, let's see. Now, there's lots of pretty things in front of me. First hair product from Oribe, a Priest Beach Wave and Shine Spray. That's probably something I need. This Lux Color Safe Spritz delivers beachy texture waves, plus it hydrates dry hair, boosts shine, and gives natural UV protection. Yeah, okay, I'll use that. This bottle is freaking gorgeous. This is Beauty Protector Protect and Detangle Leave-In Conditioner. OMG, the bottle, for real. I love it, I love it. I use leave-in conditioner every single day, so I'll try that. Do they say anything awesome about it besides that it's a fabulous, fabulous bottle? Best-selling elixir locks and color protects from heat damage and adds silkiness while making hair smell amazing. I love hair that smells amazing. Okay. Now we've got an enzyme peel mask, vitamin C and papaya from the Organic Pharmacy. I like 
masks, but like samples like this don't thrill me because I use them and then I rarely end up buying the full size because I've got so many other samples of things like this that I just live off my samples and so I mean that's fine. Powerful gel mask to renew dull skin, improve elasticity, and even skin tone. Well, I need all those things, so I guess that's good. All right, from Marcel, we have Hydra C. This looks like a gel facial care product of some kind. Energizing, hydrating gel. With green tea, I've been wanting some green tea in my things. With green tea, cucumber extracts, and vitamin C and E, this gel moisturizer nourishes skin while guarding against pollutants. The ingredients, they intrigue me. This could be interesting. And lastly, it looks like a makeup type thing. I'll show it to you because I'm pretty sure I can't pronounce it. Manakadar Beauty. Maybe? Close? Let's see what they say here. Okay, so it's all one word on the thing, but on the card, it's two words. Mana Kadar? I don't know. Whatever it is. The Daydream Palette. Create the perfect summer glow with this bronzer and highlight duo, which comes as part of a universally flattering palette. Universally flattering, except that it's five million times too dark for my skin. So my cousin is going to be getting this in the mail. <laughs> I, It's tough. Bronzers, highlighters, they, they're... They, I could use the highlighter as a contour practically, okay? That's what I'm saying. So anyway, but they kind of, they got some good stuff in here. I will use the beach hairspray. I will definitely enjoy the detangler because I'm going to pick up the bottle every day and be like, I love this bottle and it's going to be fabulous. The face gel sounds intriguing and, uh, I'll use the mask. It's just going to be one of the other masks that goes into my collection of sample masks. And yeah, I'd say probably a solid B on the birch box too. I would give it a higher rating. Maybe I'd go B plus, but I like getting more makeup and the fact that they totally went dud on my fair skin with the little bronzer highlight thing here. Uh, we're going to go. We're gonna go B plus for Birchbox here. B plus for the month of August. So there you have it, my Ipsy and my Birchbox. I've got some fun things to try, a few things I won't use as usual, and you can tune in next month to find out if I get rid of one of these and try something new. We'll see. If you have not yet subscribed, I welcome you to do so. I invite you to join me and you'll get updates every time I post a new video. If you like these unboxings, give me a thumbs up below. If you've got any cool subscriptions that are maybe a little under the radar, I would love to hear about them, especially if they're primarily makeup subscriptions. Uh, I'm into that kind of thing. Thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to hang out with me and geek out over makeup and stuff. I appreciate your time. Have yourselves an awesome day, an awesome week, awesome night, wherever you are. Take care of each other. Have a good one. Bye-bye.